we'll come to our topic rule of contract introduction a contract can be defined as a legal agreement made between two or more parties which is enforceable it can also be defined as a set of promise a breach of which call for a legal remedy for any breach of contractual relationship is against the rule of law and it can be enforced in a court of law type of contract we have simple contracts it's a contract which does not entail any legal formation it can be it can either be oral partly oral written or partly written so it is just a simple contract this is like a credit uh, you go to a shop you make a you buy a you buy a tissue paper you buy a book you buy a bible you buy a koran or you go to a kiosk you make a credit scale you say you bring some amount of money at the evening so it's just a simple contract contract of record it is type of a contract that does not require the consent of one party but imposed on the other bodies with statutory authority e.g. court orders court orders can be imposed without the consent of other parties and be a binding contract also contract of uberime fidei or contract of utmost good faith it is type of contract which is based on totality good faith by both parties utmost good faith it is like the contract of indemnity contract contract on guarantee guarantee contract of agencies contract of insurance where the insured believe in the insurer that if we pay premium and a certain risk occurs the insurer we insure him we insure him or her express contract it is a contract where a party agree orally or by writing the nature and condition of the contract so the party agrees orally or by writing the nature as the condition of the contract for instance when you go and purchase a radio or a tv in a certain in a certain shop it's you just right either you can buy it orally from a friend or in a certain in a certain in a certain black market buy that radio orally or in a shop by writing some warranty condition yeah and it become yours so you have entered in what into an express contract in an express contract an implied contract it is a contract where there is no in a specific agreement about the contract it is inferred from the conduct of the parties for instance you move in a certain town you board a matatu you 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 find a bowl detain the matatu is moving from washington washington dc to a certain state anywhere or a matatu is moving from nairobi to kiambu eh, you you just get into a matatu to be written from nairobi to kiambu is 70 shilling you just do that matatu with us you pay that 7 70 shilling a dt become a binding contract which is implied contract executed contract it is a contract where both party have fully performed their obligation or their core obligation so an executed contract is like a contract where you misplace your phone and you somebody get somebody gets that you advertise that anybody who gets that phone you give him a certain amount of money somebody gets that phone bring it back to you you give him that amount of money which you have offered to give and that become an ex executed already executed contract ex executory contract it is a contract where both party must perform a certain obligation to be a contract so both party must perform in accordance with the contract in, in order for it to become a binding contract void voidable contract these are contract that are legally binding but can be avoided by one party without any legal consequences if the party identifies that there was some misappropriation about property the contract was not free and fair was not transparent so one party can find that uh, i can avoid this 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 contract with no legal consequences we for, we for, we before that person there can be written contract it is a contract which is confined in a formal document such as bill of exchange transfer of immovable assets such as <coughs> such as rad transfer of 
even cars need some written contract acknowledgement of bare bad debts void contract these are contracts which cannot be enforced in any court of law because they are illegal in nature in, such as contracts that promote corruption drug trafficking so they are illegal in nature so they cannot be enforced in any court of justice we have formation of contract an offer can can an offer come into existence when an offerer of one party called an offer of one party called an offerer is accepted by another party referred to as offeree where both must start the legal capacity to make a contract so a contract come into formation where one party offered to make a contract with another party the party which is offering to make the the contract is the offerer and the party which is making the offer to is referred to as offer is and both of them must start the legal capacity to make the contract so the purpose of the agreement must be for all the legal formalities to be enforceable for if it omits any legal formalities it is, it will not be enforceable in any court of law so here are the some not elaboratively some of the element of a contract so a, a contract must have an offer it is an expression of willingness of the party to contract with each other the party manifesting the intention is the offerer and the party which is the intention is directed to is the offeree so here we have two parties we have one party referred to as an offerer and the other party referred to as an offeree but it must be expressing some willingness to contract with each other so because if i need some stationery and i receive an offer to deliver me some stationery so that i both of us are willing to transact with each other so acceptance it must it is the external manifestation of a contract requiring an assent or consent from the offeree to be legally binding so an offer an offer cannot be legally binding if it have not been accepted by the offeree consideration it is an act of promise offered by one party accepted by another party as the price of the promise so it is the price of the promise so it is like the promise which used to induce other party it is used to induce other party to be able to give it is to be able to enter into a contract so they are consideration to another party it is another another essential element is the capacity is the legal ability of a party to enter into a contractual relationship so in order to get into a contractual relationship the party must have the capacity to make the contract you cannot make a contract with an infant a person which who is not who is under 18 years you cannot make a contract with a drunk person you cannot make a contract with an insane person so free consent it is the ability of a party to and set the contract freely with no coercion so you enter into a contract freely when you are not asked by anybody to make that contract so you are not forced to make that contract but it comes because of your need and you need to enter into that contract because it's beneficial to you legal object it is a essential element of a contract that it of it obtain all legal formalities and legal objects so it is the legal nature of a contract which make it enforceable in any court of law in any court of law so if it omits so those legal objects it will not be enforceable in any court of law so i think that make marks our head of the mix the marks the head of our topic by the name the law of contract though the essential element of the contract we have covered them them briefly I will make another video covering those essential element of the contract in details thank you for watching kindly remember to subscribe and share and comment about the video thank you